Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com, and today we're going to talk about having tori or excess doses and how that works with Invisalign or braces. And let's define what tori and excess doses are first. By the way, these photos are kind of gross, but these are the only ones I had to share. And I'm not saying that these are necessarily good aligner patients. It's just the best way for me to show what the different types of pathology are. And this is not like bad pathology. There's nothing wrong with these things. They just keep growing throughout your lifetime. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here's your mandibular tori, you know, usually grows on the inside down there. Uh, maxillary tori is usually a midline tori and excess doses is usually on the outside, um, upper and lower. These get bigger over time. Sometimes if they get too big, it changes your tongue position and you have to get it removed um, as it grows and you grow. So it's just like some other bones in your body that never stop, you know, like your nose will continue to grow, your chin will continue to grow a little bit. Um, and so do tori and excess doses. And they usually don't present in kids, so usually older patients. So what if you have them? How does this affect your orthodontics? Um, I don't know that there's a lot of studies about it, but just from my experience, obviously a maxillary midline tori is not an issue, um, you know, unless you needed some type of braces, anchorage appliance, um, that went over the palate, well, in that case, probably better to, to do aligners. Obviously, this is not a good case. Um, mandibular tori are usually not an issue. I mean, if they've grown to this size, it might be an issue, either in terms of bracket placement, if you're doing braces, or in terms of just getting the you know, good trim on the, uh, on the lingual side of the aligners and engaging the undercuts and stuff like that might be a little bit of an issue. Obviously, the buckle side's probably fine. Um, I don't think Invisalign would be an issue here because it only covers the teeth and not the bone. Um, one good question that I got was, you know, how does light, what, what if we're gonna do arch expansion or proclination and we have excess doses? Or what if we're, you know, gonna lingualize teeth and we have tori? Um, that I don't know. I mean, in some ways I feel a little more confident, you know, with expansion when there's that much bone. <laughs> so um, I have a few cases I'm doing with doctors and we're, we're maybe expanding more than we normally would in a patient of that age that has ex excess doses just to kind of see how it goes. So far so good. Um, you know, we're using it to our advantage, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, not a huge deal as long as you get a good fit of the aligner. I mean, definitely think aligner is going to be easier than braces, but hopefully that's helpful. Thank you.